everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm KG, and in today's video, I'm going to be finishing up my custom action figure, Mando Pool. I just wanted to let you know that I'm feeling a little bit run down at the moment, so that's why my voice sounds a little bit weird. Um, I do have a bit of a sore throat, doing okay otherwise, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Okay, enough being said, let's get into it. <laughs> Continuing from where we left off, the helmet is now painted with a metallic silver. I also hit it with a matte clear coat to seal it for the next step, which is my favourite chipping technique, salt and water. Here's a better visual of what I was trying to explain in the last video. Using water and a paintbrush, I wet the helmet and add bits of salt to protect the paint underneath. I can use the brush to move the salt around, putting it in desired locations. I then left it to dry before taking it to the spray booth and painting it the same red as the armour. I thought it would be quite visually appealing if I used the airbrush to blow away the salt. For the harder to reach places I used a toothbrush. Using a brown wash I go over the figure making sure to stick to the sections that are supposed to be fabric. This will serve two purposes, one it will break up the paint so it doesn't look so brand new and two it will also help sell the scale, it will seep into the cracks and crevices making shadows. After leaving it to dry for several hours, I come back in with some cotton swabs and water to remove the paint from the high points.
I then dry brush these sections to bring out the details a little bit more. Once I finish this, I'm going to lock it all in with some matte clear coat and while this dries, I'm going to turn my attention back to the helmet. Using some Tamiya masking tape, I line up where I want the oval sections of Deadpool's mask to go. I repeated this for the second eye and then it was ready for paint. I was going to use the airbrush but to save some time I decided to just stipple on the paint instead. Just to make sure that all the details are in the right place, I decided to put it together and to see what it looked like and I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Mixing up a simple beige, I used the airbrush to make quick work of the straps and belts. With a fine paintbrush, I go over the other pieces that are supposed to be leather with the same beige. I also went over some of the metallic pieces with some more metallic paint. Instead of leaving the Ironheart silver, I thought if it were Deadpool, he'd probably make this his symbol. 
So using my finest paintbrush, I gave it a go and I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. And off camera, I also finished off the helmet and I really like how this turned out as well. With the remains of the beige, I mixed in some black and water to create a wash for the leather. The wash had dulled down some of the metallic pieces so I just come back in with some of the same metallic just to brighten them back up. Now I did have footage of me finishing the weathering of the figure using some chalk pastels but I seem to have lost it. Which will be a running theme on the channel as I'm trying to balance YouTube life with becoming a father so please bear with me. If you're wondering why it looks a little bit more worn in the next section this is why. I wanted the visor to stand out a little bit more than the black on the helmet, so I decided to use some UV resin to make it appear more glass-like. I think this turned out really well. The original jetpack I made shown here just didn't look right to me. So I decided to start from scratch and make something that resembled the one Boba Fett uses as you can see here. It's usually scary starting over on something but if it isn't working for you don't be afraid to start again or come at it from a different angle. It can be daunting yes but if you put in the work it can pay off. And apparently my son agrees. And I'm really glad I did as this one looks so much better. It was mostly painted and weathered in the same way as the figure, so I won't say much else, although the design does change in the end a bit.
And with this tiny little detail done, he was finished. And here he is. I'm just honestly, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It did go a little bit hard on the weathering, uh, but I really wanted it to be, you know, grimy. I was thinking he could be, you know, like a bounty hunter, but like a Sith bounty hunter. That's why he's got a couple of uh, dual lightsabers that are red. You know, maybe he's took down a few Siths. I really enjoyed making this action figure. Yeah, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment. You know what else you'd like to see from me um i do have a lot of projects coming up which you'll see soon um really looking forward to showing them and just to let you all know as well i do have a christmas special coming out either going to be i think it's going to be christmas day or day after boxing day yeah thinking about doing a giveaway soon um not really sure if people would be interested but i do have a bag full of uh, build a figure parts. Funnily enough, uh, most of the legs in here are right legs. Um, I think all of them actually are right legs. So that's interesting. So it might be the right leg giveaway. Um, but I will let you know what that is soon, probably on the Instagram. So I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. And always remember to stay nerdy. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, chicken. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get to work now. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, off you pop.